Heaps of discarded batteries pile up in the empty landfills of Gaza, posing health risks to the residing Palestinians in the enclave. With no one to attend to these battery cells, they rust in the open and emit harmful chemicals. Virtually every household in Gaza relies on batteries to keep their home running. This is a result of years of chronic power crisis in the region. With no stable source of power supply, residents have resorted to alternate means such as battery cells to generate electricity. The severe shortage in the energy sector in Gaza has led citizens to use alternative means, using batteries to generate power, especially electricity in households, which led to the multiplication of numbers of batteries in the Gaza Strip. Batteries are an essential power source in Gaza where public electricity supply is practically nil. These batteries fuel everything from lights to internet routers to solar panels. But there's a major problem. With more and more batteries coming into use, more and more are also getting discarded, which is resulting in a huge pile of used battery cells. Gaza's Environment Authority estimates that there are nearly 25,000 tons of old batteries piled up in this overcrowded enclave. With no proper disposal facilities, these battery cells are left to rust in the open landfills. These discarded cells then break and ooze toxic elements which contaminate the soil. Batteries are composed of heavy metals that are toxic, such as lead which constitutes 60% of a battery, in addition to cobalt and nickel. Some batteries also contain mercury, hence can cause serious damage to human health and the environment. There are no recycling facilities in Gaza and existing blockades imposed by Israel and Egypt prevent shipping the batteries to foreign countries. Adding to these woes, the ongoing power tussle between the Israeli government and the Hamas group is also making the situation worse for Palestinians living in this enclave. With decayed infrastructure and a crippling economy, the future continues to remain gloomy for Gaza's residents.